Wow, guys, we got some major, major spoilers for Dragon Ball Super Episode 101. Very different stuff than we have gotten last week or the week before, I think it was. This is a really nice change of events, and I'm really excited to talk about this one with you guys. So let's jump right in. Spoiler warning, and thanks to Herms for the translations on Twitter. Okay, Dragon Ball Super Episode 101, the Warriors of Justice close in, Pride Troopers. The mighty Warriors of Universe 11 attack with their teamwork. Goku challenges Jiren of Universe 11, but Jiren sends five of his Pride Trooper comrades, including Casserole, after Goku and company. To defeat them, Goku teams up with Kale and Cauliflaw. Awesome! The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Goku fights alongside of Cauliflaw and Kelly. I think they mean Kale there. Picture of Casserole. Casserole fights as well as you'd expect as the leader of the Pride Troopers. Turtle Hermit this week, putting up such a fight that you can hardly tell his age. When the Turtle Hermit, Master Roshi, loses sight of his comrades, he escapes the predicament by paralyzing his opponent with the Bankoku Bikori Sho until his comrades arrive. Muten Roshi is still alive and kicking. Okay guys, so tons to talk about here. Let's talk about first, Cauliflaw and Kale teaming up with Goku. Now we thought that Kale was knocked off the ring in episode 100 by Jiren, but I guess that could have been a mistranslation or something like that. I mean, we were told that Krillin was gonna get disqualified and he did not. So I'm guessing that Kale does not actually get knocked off by Jiren. I guess Jiren just bitch smacks her and puts her in her place, but that's really awesome. That's actually really exciting because in a previous video of mine, I was saying that I was disappointed that, you know, we only really get Kale for one episode in the Tournament of Power before um, she gets knocked off, and the entire reasoning behind her was just to show how strong Jiren is. But if she's still alive and kicking, if she's still fighting, then that's awesome, because we really want to see more character development out of this female Broly. And it's freaking awesome that Goku is going to be leading the Saiyans against Universe 11. I mean, that is so freaking awesome. Really, really exciting news. And Cauliflower, I don't know if she'll have blue at this point. She very, very may well have blue at this point. She may love Goku for, you know, teaching her how to use blue. Or maybe she's just tagging along because she wants Goku to teach her how to turn blue. That's yet to be seen. But regardless, Goku is leading the Saiyans, and this is super exciting. Now, I don't know where Vegeta is at this point. He's probably off fighting someone else, possibly Topo or Hit at this point. Now, Jiren is going to send five Pride Troopers to go up against Goku instead of fighting himself, which is kind of peculiar. Uh, I don't know why Jiren doesn't want to fight Goku yet. He just wants to stand there. He just really wants to save all of his power until the very end. Now, the spoilers uh, were saying that Casserole is actually the leader. We know he's the general. So, I don't know. Uh, Topo is supposed to be the leader. So, I'm not really sure what that is. I thought Casserole was second in command, but apparently he's pretty strong, so this should actually be really interesting, and it's going to be kind of cool to see, you know, five Pride Troopers in action working together. We know that they work as a team extremely well, so this is going to be a really tough fight for Goku and the rest of the Saiyans, but it's going to be super, super exciting, and I love how they're doing this with Dragon Ball Super. Now, I had originally predicted that Universe 6 would team up with Universe 7, to fight against Universe 11, and it doesn't really seem like that's 100% true just because Vegeta was fighting against Botamo and Mageta in the last episode, but we are getting the Saiyans from Universe 6, at least Cauliflaw and Kale, I don't know what Kaba's doing, to team up with Goku. So that's that's still really, really awesome, and I, I absolutely love this. All right, let's talk about Roshi real quick. So he's using his attack from Dragon Ball, Lightning Flash, Surprise Attack is also a name for it. Um, and it paralyzes your enemy. So Master Roshi's put in work, as you saw from the last episode, he knocked off that bird guy with his Kamehameha. So this is really, really impressive that Roshi is doing some serious work because he's probably the weakest out of everybody in Universe 7. And if you're a Roshi fan, more power to you because this is pretty awesome. So it looks like Goku versus five other Pride Troopers with the help of Cauliflaw and Kale. I don't know how strong Casserole is going to be, but I think Goku's going to win here, and I think they're going to probably knock off those five Pride Troopers. But let me know your thoughts below, guys. What do you think is going to go down with this five versus three? Are you excited about Goku leading the Saiyans to victory? I know I am, and I, I think this, this episode's going to be awesome. I think episode 100 is going to be awesome, too. So really exciting stuff here for Dragon Ball Super. Leave your uh, thoughts below with a like if you don't mind, and I will check you guys soon with another Dragon Ball video. Have a good one, guys. Peace.